all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. He said, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Oh Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you that you are God that we can pray to, that you will answer us, and even in our fears, you will deliver us from them. So Father, right now as we stop and pray again, Lord, I just give you praise and honor because you are worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You know all, you see all, you have all power in your hand. You're everywhere all at the same time. So Lord, we thank you on this day. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory for you are worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. Oh Lord, there have been so many things going on. We've had shootings, we've had deaths, we've had more activity of this of this COVID. Uh, and, and, and but Lord, you are still God. You are still keeping us. And Lord, so I don't fear you on this day. I thank you, Lord, for delivering that fear. Lord, in the midst of grief, some of us, our hearts are heavy this morning. But Father, we ask you again, because we know that you will do it, we ask you to lighten that grief on us this day. And we know still, God, that you are holy, you're righteous. You will keep us even in the midst of those things that are causing us pain, that are causing us sorrow. So Father, on this day, I ask that you would bless this service. I ask that you would bless the man of God who's going to bring the word to us today. I pray, Father, for the shepherd of this flock who's away. Father, I thank you, Lord, for every member of grace. I thank you, Father, for the ones who are in the hospital, ones who cannot come out yet because they're just not quite ready to come out and be with others. Some people are having problems with cars. Some people are having financial difficulties, Lord. But whatever it is, Lord, we know that we have an assurance that you will take care of all of those things. So, Father, on, in this service today, Lord, I ask that you would bless. I ask that you would heal. I ask that you would set free. And, Lord, as we give you all the honor that we can give you, as we praise your name, Lord God, I pray, Lord, that we are pleased in your sight in Jesus name I pray Lord and I thank you Ooh, Lord I thank you Ooh, our mission is to preach the simple truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the entangled and the recovery of sight to the blind to comfort the hurt and discouraged, to restore the abandoned and forsaken into the fellowship by grace, to create awareness of our God-given gifts that we may serve the Lord with our whole hearts, minds, and spirits. Therefore, we are preparing to be a people ready to meet Christ at his return. Our vision to stand nonviolently against oppressive powers affecting the natural and spiritual productivity within our homes, churches, and communities through comprehensive, compassionate outreach ministries. I will turn you over to the praise team of grace. Anybody come to have church this morning? Yes, I did. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to sing some old songs this morning, all right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a way to give your soul time. Anchor to Jesus, you are surely just the way. There's a song on the ocean, and it's moving. And it's a way to give your soul Drift away, drift away. 
is raging And when the billows come the billows They roll And I am glad He shall, he shall In his arms, 
Anybody safe in his arms? Safe in his arms. I'm going to call my auntie to do a selection for me. Come on, auntie. That's why I'm saying. Give us some of my time. Is that all right? That's all right. Praise God. So more of my blessings flow to the pastor here, Pastor Ware, and everyone here. God is awesome, and He's awesome all by Himself. And He's a good God. And He's good to us because we're here this morning. I've had some good days and I've had some hills to climb I've had some weary days oh and lonely nights but when I look around on when I think things over All of my good days, <coughs> they outweigh my bad days, so I, I won't complain. God, God's been so good to me, He's so good to me, more than you of this world could ever be. I say he's been so good, he's been so good, he's been so, so good to me. Oh, he drives all of my tears away, turns my darkness into day. So I'll just say thank you, Lord. Though I've been lied on, thank you, Lord. I've been misunderstood, but thank you, Lord. I've been talked about, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't, I won't complain. God, God has been so good to me. Oh, yes, he has. He's been so good to me More than you or this world could ever be I say he's been so good He's been so, so good He's been so, so good to me Oh, he drives all of my tears away Turns my darkness into day So I'll just say thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord I won't, I won't complain St. John, the second chapter, and the third verse. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Lord, we thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for what you've done, what you're going to do. You're great, you're awesome, you're mighty, you're powerful. You've got might we've never seen. You've got strength we know nothing about. You got power we can't even phantom. When we say thank you, thank you, I feel like having a thank you fit. Thank you for hands to raise. Thank you for a mouth to talk with. Thank you for feet to walk with. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, thank you. 
Thank you. God, thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your anointing. You're great, you're awesome, you're mighty. God, thank you for your word today. Send your anointing that makes preaching easy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Just before you take your seat, just look at somebody and say, uh-oh. We have run out of wine. Amen. 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 Did y'all look at somebody and tell them you run out of wine? See, now the secret of change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new. Amen? When God has an assignment on your life, you can't hang with everybody. Did y'all hear me? This mic go off? When God has an assignment on your life, you cannot hang with everybody. Don't run after them if they leave. God put them out your life for a reason. Amen? Amen. See, y'all stressed out about no gas. But baby, riding on E is my specialty. You worried about no gas. You better put your faith in God. What did I say? In who? In who? In God. We have to put our faith in the Lord. You have to put your faith in who? In who? In me. In Pastor Williams. In who? In God. We have to trust in God. Our belief must be in who? Y'all know that too? In God. In who? God. In God. God. I thought y'all knew it. In who? God. Some trust in chariots and horses, but I'm going to tell you this. I put my trust in God. I feel good this morning. I feel good this morning. We find that Jesus and his disciples went to a wedding. And when they got there, they ran out of wine. Now, y'all know if you go to a party and they run out of wine, the party is over. Some of y'all may not know that. It just so happened when Jesus and his friends got there, they ran out of wine. Anybody ever go somewhere and they say, we ain't got no food? <laughs> huh? We, we don't have nothing to drink here. It's time to go. And it sounds like they don't want you there. Huh? So it's time for you to leave. Am I right? The mother of Jesus came to him and said, they run out of wine. And Jesus looked at her and said, what that got to do with me? 
I, I've got other matters to concern. See, at this point, you got to realize that Jesus hasn't done any miracles. Nobody has seen him do anything. But the mother had enough faith. See, when the angel came to her and told her, So now she's going to put her faith into work. Because faith without works is what? Without faith it is impossible to what? So she came to Jesus and she said they don't have any wine. Now she didn't ask him. She just told him they don't have any wine. And so the next verse says, he said, what does that got to do with me? And she told the servant, she said, whatever he tell you to do, do it. So Jesus told the servants, he looked at the ceremonial water pots. The pots they use for ceremonies to wash themselves in and to clean themselves. He said, take them pots and fill them full of water. Go and fill them pots up full of water. And what did they do? They went and they filled them up full of water. We're doing some religious things that don't mean nothing. Can y'all hear me? Some stuff, we don't know what that, we're just doing it. Huh? And Jesus repurposed those religious things. He said, now go and fill them full of water and bring them back. So he's telling us all them religious things y'all used to doing, I'm doing away with them. I'm doing a new thing. I'm tearing down those walls of religion. Jesus is coming back now, y'all. And he ain't coming back for the church of God in Christ. He ain't coming back for the apostolic. But he's coming back for a prepared people. Yeah. Folks that have got their selves together. He's coming back for them. He said, now, get them pots and fill them for the water and bring them back. When, he brought them, when they brought them back, he said, now go take them and serve folks this water. And when they got this water, the folks knew they filled it up with water. Huh. They knew it was water in there. And they fed them, and they gave it to the people to drink. And the governor of the feast said, now, wait a minute. Now, normally, y'all take the best wine and serve it at the end. After everybody, at the beginning, after everybody then drank that, then you give them the bad wine. He said, but you have set precedent here. You have saved the best for last. Everybody then stepped on you and pushed you to the side and looked at you like you was nothing. Look at somebody and say, baby, Jesus has saved the best for last. You see me now, and I don't look like nothing. But keep on looking at me. Keep on looking. 
See, I don't look like what I've been through. You don't look like what you've been through. I don't act like what I've been through. Jesus has saved the best for last. I'm almost through, y'all, believe it or not. I'm going to give you three things. Is that all right? Number one, it's a setup. You've been set up. Jesus and his disciples came to the wedding and the mother set him up. It's a set up. You thought you came for one thing, but God has repurposed it. Repurpose your life. See, the devil messed up when he let y'all come in here today. He, the devil didn't want you to hear this. But God has repurposed your life. You are new. You are brand new. He has saved the best for last. So it's a setup. See, you, anybody that know a setup know that if somebody is setting you up, you don't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. You don't know nothing about it. Uh huh. And you just walk into it blindly. But Jesus. Said, what has that got to do with me, woman? She didn't say nothing to him. She said something to the servants. Huh? Whatever Jesus is telling you to do, number two, do it. Look at somebody and say, do it. Do it. Whatever he's telling you to do, do it. You do what the doctor tell you to do. You never met him before. The doctor said, get up there on the table. And what you do? Get up there on the table. The doctor said, take off all your clothes. You never met him before, but you take off all your clothes. Huh? He say, open your mouth. And what you do? And you open your mouth. Huh? Whatever Jesus tells you to do, do it. What y'all gonna do? You know, Everything Jesus tells you to do ain't going to look good. Everybody ain't going to understand it. When he told them to get water, they didn't understand it, but they did it. They didn't say, they're my ceremonial pots. I'm, I'm not getting them pots. Those are ceremonial pots. We use them for religious purposes. They didn't say that. They got them pots, and guess what? Filled it full of water. Filled it with water. And they brought them back. So whatever Jesus tells you to do, you've got to learn to do it. What you got to do? Huh? Huh? Now, didn't you say faith without works is dead? Didn't you say without faith it's impossible to please God? Huh? Where's your faith? 
Where is your faith? Now, some of y'all, I'm not going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about that church up the street. Now, that church up the street has been doing some things that Jesus is not pleased with. Y'all hear me? I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about that church around the corner. They have been doing some things that Jesus is not pleased with. Can y'all hear me? They have been doing some things that Jesus is not pleased with. First lady, I'm not talking about this church, all right? Jesus told them to get the pots, and they didn't get the pots. Told them to fill it for the water, and they didn't fill it full of water. Y'all got to talk to that church. Can y'all hear me? It's just simple. Go get it and fill it full of water. My friends don't like when I do. That's not going to look right to my friends. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, please do it. I'm begging you. Do it. Do it. Do it. And then number three, it's victory in the end. When you do what he tells you to do, you're going to experience victory. Can you say victory? V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. -I -I My name is victory. Just in case you didn't know it. I walk in victory. I talk victory. I live victory. When you see me, you see victory. If you do it, the victory you will receive. Do you know that we already have the victory? When Jesus came and died for us, he gave us victory. And we live beneath our privileges, not y'all, that other church. Live beneath their privileges because they do not walk in victory. Do you know the money you can have? Do you know what you are forfeiting you can have? Because you're living beneath your privileges. Victory. 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 V-I-C-T. O-R-A. Y. have the victory. Just touch yourself and say, my mind is victory. My heart is victory. I walk in victory. Tell them I talk in victory. When you see me, you see victory. Jesus said, fill them water pots up with water and they went and filled them up. They didn't give him no slack, didn't talk back to him. They did exactly what he said do. They filled them up with water. 
And then they brought him back to him. And he said, now, go serve this. He didn't say, don't serve it. He said, go and serve it. Now, see, the unique thing is, anybody would look at that and say, what, what is this? What is he doing? Why, why would she tell him about this? Why is this his first miracle? Because Jesus is so, so concerned about the small things in our life. He loves us so until he's concerned with everything that concerns us. Whatever concern you have, Jesus is concerned about it. Can y'all hear me? Stop getting on the phone calling your friends. Girl, stop talking about people. Y'all don't have to, not y'all, the other church. They don't have time to talk about other folks when you got so much business and in your life needs to be taken care of. Stop concerning yourself with other people's business. They say you got six months to take care of your business. And then you take another six months and leave other people's business alone. That's a whole year you've been concerned about your business and nobody else's business. Stop being busybodies. Too many busybodies. Huh? Busybodies will destroy a church. Can I tell y'all who the church is? Can I tell you who the church is? The church ain't those chairs. It's, it's not this podium. It's not this building. But you are the church. When you look in the mirror, you're looking at the church. If you take this church to the club, when you go downtown and you go to the bar and to the clubs, you taking the church to the bar and to the clubs. Can y'all hear me? Y'all got quiet on me. I want you to realize that whatever you do, you represent the church. Can y'all hear me? Every word is a representation of the church. Every deed done in your body is a representation of the church. Do you know you may be the only Jesus that this world sees? You may be the only witness that they sees. And how do you want them to see you? Huh? Look at your life. Examine your life. The Bible says, let a man examine his neighbor. Let a man examine the folks down the street. Huh? You've got to examine yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and see where you have fallen short. See what you have done. Can y'all hear me? I told y'all, don't worry about running out of gas because running on E is my specialty. See, you, you, you have come to your wit's end and you have run out of wine 
and you don't know what to do. In other words, you have no choices. You have come to your wit's end and you don't know what to do. I'm so sick of them. I, they, they make me sick. I'm tired of them. You don't know what to do. You have to take it to Jesus. Uh-oh. We run out of wine, y'all. That's so small. That's so minute. Do I take that to Jesus? Everything, every situation, nothing is too big for God to solve. The mother knew that Jesus could solve it. She knew that he would know exactly what to do. She knew that he could solve that wine situation. So she said, Jesus, she didn't say, what are we to do? She didn't say, oh, woe is me. She didn't even ask him. She just told him, we have run out of wine. We have run out of wine. I have run out of wine. I don't know what to do. My bills need to be paid. They about to uh, take my car. They about to take the house. I do not know what to do. I am at my wit's end. I have come to the end and I do not know what to do. I'm about to pull my hair out. Jesus, when they was at the battle of Jericho, God said, go on around the wall seven times. Don't say nothing. On the seventh time, he said, praise me. He said, now when you've gone in circles long enough, stop and give me the praise. You are constantly going in circles, marching around. When you come to your senses and realize that all you've got to do is praise God. All you've got to do is stop right where you are. I dare you when you're in a situation just stop and give God the praise. I dare you to just stop right where you are and give God the praise. You may be going through a situation at the grocery store. I don't care. You may be at work. Just stop right where you are and give God the praise. Stop calling folks. Stop looking for counseling. Stop running here and there. Stop right where you are and give God the praise. When you praise God, everything can change. Every situation can change. When you praise God, it makes the difference. It separates you from the, from the weak folks. You see, the weak folks is over here murmuring and complaining. But when you begin to praise God, it gives you strength from above. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And then when I don't have no joy, I got to leap for it. You better learn how to leap for it. I'm trying to get my joy 
It don't look right to you, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get strength, so I got to leap for it. 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 Somebody go get it. You better leap for it. You want strength? Leap for it. You want joy? Leap for it. You better leap for it. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Been through hell. You better learn how to leap. Going through hell. You better leap for it. 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 You sick. Leap for it. Leap for it. You down. Leap for it. You depressed. Leap for it. You need strength. Leap for it. Leap for it. You need joy. Leap for it. Leap for it. You at your wit's end. You better leap for it. Leap for it. You don't know what to do. Leap. 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 You better leap. You better leap. You better leap. You better leap. I had to learn how to leap. You better leap. You better leap. You better leap. You better leap. I don't look like what I've been through. I don't look like what I've been through. I've been through the fire and didn't get burned. Been through hell and look at me today. I had a stroke But look at me Hey, hey, hey I was all twisted up Didn't look like myself But look at me Look at me, look at me, I have been set free, God gave me a new leash, the old me is gone, I could take you where he was buried, I could take you to the grave of Dion, I am brand new, I am brand new, I walk new, I talk new. I'm living in the newness. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like hollering. I feel like hollering. Y'all go help me holler. Open your mouth and scream. Hey! Open your mouth, scream. Oh! Oh! I just gave y'all. I went to the doctor. And the doctor said, when you get stressed out, he said, go somewhere and scream. I'm paying you to tell me to scream. Do you 
know the church had that remedy for years said lift your voice like a trumpet open your mouth and scream it's gonna help you it's gonna help you it's gonna help you it's gonna bring you out it's gonna deliver you oh Hallelujah. 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 Anybody want prayer? Come on.